Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampathy watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews you can see this is an origin OS 2.0 based on Android 13 for Poco X3 there are little of things should be made once you flash the ROM and flashing method is also very simple flash the 13.0.4 EEA firmware and flash this ROM zip file format data and reboot to system it will boot in a this iq origin os then you need to skip all the options first even if you have mobile data connection also it would won't go further skip everything and boot like this in the home screen later you need to you will get a uh, notification the pop-up notifications called uh, enable google services enable that then you will get the play store then sign in with play store and install the apps and one more problem you also may found it because once you skip everything the gboard whatever it is you need to manually use that because if you start typing here you won't see any keyboard itself you won't even connect to wi-fi also in order to get that i am saying it for the first boot i am saying once you flash the rom you need to find the uh, whatever i say the language and input options maybe present here currently i can search from here keyboard you can search for that's why i found similar problem let's find language itself input okay anyhow that's how it is i will find out within a while okay once you flash the rom go to system management here and select here input method gboard and press this toggle and about okay that's not that show it in a home screen there will be option here show it in the home screen then you will get a this kind of app here gboard press that it will ask you the permission to allow make it allow then the keyboard going to work it fine this all the problems you face once you flash the rom it uh, it is going to be fine once you do these things but it's my duty to tell these things because once you flash around if keyboard doesn't work how can you connect the wi-fi isn't it that's how i faced it and regarding the rom let's go into settings it's really good the rom is after doing all these things and you won't get safety and status fix that also i will show you within a while let me show you the about no not system update about the device it's a little bit different ui hence maybe it's present above okay in the system management this is the version you can see version os 2.0 and it recognizes as poco x3 it's applicable for nfc also my variant is indian variant you can see version information you can see kernel user is 4.14.29 and dex k kernel has been used here and security update is 2022 august yes august 5th security patch it is and based on android 13 i don't know why this this will not move as you can see even if i keep it to 1 pm yeah that's how it is it's an android 13 build with origin os 2.0 there are some cool stuff also in this particular operating system it's really good i have changed some of the icon style here on this how you get a typical home screen and this is the quick settings panel as you can see and you, this is a pre-rooted rom guys once you reboot your system you get magics allow it to install the new version once you open that you get models i have given in the uh, description itself there is update here anyhow install from storage this is the safety net status fix once you need to do that here update hasn't came here universal safety net fix let's see into the safety net status if i go and check out it's still showing failed here let's go back here and hide it okay now let's check out uh, the version of the safety and status what I have given in the uh, telegram maybe it's an outdated if you have the latest one as it is showing here let's check the safety and status again 
see the smoothness in the view this is a port rom actually how clean it is the port rom i never expected this kind of performance in this ported rom because in previously i have seen realme uv and all okay it's again showing failed only not a worry it is showing to flash the latest one the safety net status as you can see it's universal fix integrity on android at 213 hardware attestation but that's how it is if you know how to flash that let me know in the comment section i am also new to that one particularly the safety net status fix in the port roms and the good thing about this rom is the camera again you get lmc camera here let me go into more settings as you can see lmc 8.4 which is good in my opinion all the features are working fine you can tweak them as you can see that's really fine lmc camera with this particular rom it's really good thing in order to use a camera you can use it and you can fly i mean you can install any gcam ports too now moving some of the benchmark results you can see also the app opening time the user interface is really quick enough and uh, the 3 lakh 68750 is the score i got and temperature raise was 2.3 degrees celsius and battery drop is 2 percentage during this testing and the geek bench course the user interface i really liked it because it's a port rom it's as smooth as any android 13 pixel experience rom but it's an different origin OS. You can see Linux 4.1, 4.299, Dex K kernel, and 509 is the single score. 1646 is the multi score. The scores are not that good comparing with Android 2. It's really good, but Geekbench scores are very low in my opinion. Safety net status already shown and DRM information. You can see it's a level 1. Hence, you can watch all the old application in HD resolution. That's not the problem here, but safety net status should have been passed you can see the interface wise let's go and deep dive into that other network and connection you get all the options otg font you can enable that and one more problem in this particular rom is if i go into file manager at first the sd card won't be detected and currently you can see space is occupied yes i have downloaded all the rom g files firmware and everything that is simply i can't see from here it's hidden that's one more thing you need to keep in mind if you flash through sd card the sd card will be hidden here the all the files and folders before this rom is hidden in the file manager you can see i even tried installing the jd archiver also but i can't access the sd card files but through recovery you can access them i mean you need to change the rom phone storage no problem but this are some problems i noticed in this particular origin os for poco x this is a port rom but still the experience is really good but this will problems made me to tense a bit but it's all up to you if it these things doesn't make any difference and safety status is not a problem then you can use it as a dollar automatic brightness sensor eye protection is also given auto lock is given dark mode they have mentioned it will not work if there is no option only here display size you can increase here and font size also you can increase font style it will go to themes most of them will be paid here it's not like me ui and color temperature adjustment is given i kept completely warmer here it's too cool in my opinion hence i made that and screen refresh it keep it 120 i don't recommend to smart switch and you can individually choose the apps to run in high refresh or it that's also a good thing full screen display for apps you can select here and this is other options you can check out on the screen and dynamic effects again these are the things interface dynamic effect you can reduce that you can real time blur it out home screen transition animation also you can choose it out comfortable moderate if you want it you can do it from here home screen transition i already shown entertain animation after unlock let's keep this fly out layer okay that's how it is and if i go back again okay other dynamic effects you get mood cube window style you can select whether backgrounds origin player if you want you can enable from here that uh, mood cube just press it as you can see it will get these kind of options here you can increase or decrease and some of the customization you can see from here 
it's how the mood cube works you can deep dive into that once you flash the rom and these are the icon settings you get as you can see the folders and again settings panel it will revert back to this it's cool definitely a new custom rom we can say for poco x3 and sound and vibration again you get a typical settings here haptic feedback again you can keep it out i kept high here another keypad touch sounds those are also fine and this is the volume panel you get media notification everything let's keep it to higher okay that's how it is notification ringtone other settings you can see on the screen vibration intensity you can choose it out it's smooth and other settings like display and brightness i already shown you home screen lock screen settings again home screen settings you can see drawer style you get standard drawer if you want you can enable or disable from here sliding transitions again you can select from here lock layout icon style and name display again here there are plenty of options you can play around them home screen folders as i said before if you want to name them you can enable from here automatically rearrange the icons after an icon is removed if you want you can enable that home screen kits if you don't want them you can disable from here more settings again mood cube if you want that you can enable from here that's how home screen settings and lock screen settings again here also there are a lot more options as you can see lock screen style custom origin cover again it depends upon you whatever you like you can keep it out system style again there's all the things you can choose the basic color and even the wallpaper color and even you can increase or decrease the size of the icons rounded corners and all mellow if you want you can do that from here there are other settings like system update it's not available jovi again this and other settings and system navigation again if you want a classic three sections it's also available you can tap to set or cancel it out system navigation i kept full screen gestures if you want you can learn them bar style also you can choose from here slide or swipe sensitivity has been given there is an option to increase the bar length here it's not even visible a fingerprint face unlock it's a glitch here it won't work fingerprint unlock will work let me show you that as you can see it's very very quick to unlock your smartphone using the fingerprint and even while entering the fingerprint also it won't show that you are uh, doing the process but it will have a your fingerprint let me show you as you can see if i go into add here as you can see it will not show you that you are adding it but it will take a fingerprint uh, sample from here that you need to keep in mind these are the things you need to consider while flashing this rom and origin privacy system that's uh, not usable that much and ultra game mode here i can say it's not that great compared to iq devices but just they are software features whatever present those going to work these are the things will not going to work in any game control settings again these are cool if you have i could as but the supported rom still we are getting options uh, that's how it is and shortcuts and accessibility again there are a lot more as you can see flash notifications incoming call if you want a flash notification you can enable or disable from here and again accessibility menu which is a cool feature all the things are available here once you flash the rom you can check out all these things and system management again about the phone i have already shown recent apps you get options here if you want you can blur and private content download management is there multi turbo option is also given here backup and recent those things won't work language you get this kind of options more language because the other people who want to flash this from hindi is also available and the other filipino as those all the options has been enabled here other than these languages nothing has been implemented region not given here but that's how guys security options privacy digital well-being ram and storage space you can see here from here i have 6 gb variant and battery again you get saves battery balance and performance super saving mode more settings charging you can see from here there's a lapse i have been using continuously and good thing is 33 watt charging support is there i tried it out with my this 33 watt charger it is working fine i really like that because it's a port rom and iq origin os it is you can see how quickly it charged the smartphone and 
we'll check this uh, cp throttling test it's also very good there is a gallery or anything like that let's check no no gallery gallery iMusic iVideo is given the other apps you can see dialer let me show you within a while before that the gallery is missing here okay anyhow images this is the cp throttling test what i got the maximum was 188 average is 180 and minimum was 150 and this is a 100 thread test you can see there is no throttling that much but it is recognized as 85 percent of its max performance which is good considering its support around again i am telling the same thing because we seen realme ui oxygen os builds latest android 13 those are just nothing compared to this rom uh, i can't say like that but this how the smooth the ui is this one even the internet connection is also fine here no problem regarding that too uh, the chrome browser won't get installed even now let's check it out again that's little bit of problems has been there in this particular room this is the bugs also i have mentioned again you people uh, comment in the comment section i don't understand i completely said everything regarding the rom again you comment in the comment section as you can see this is the problem you get once you install the chrome hence i install this mozilla firefox here and iMusic iVideo applications has been included here and even vivo app store has been implemented and coming to dialer you can see there is a direct video call feature also and there is even call recording feature and it will not announce the other person that you are recording the call which is good thing this how the origin OS and this is a quick settings panel as you can see volume panel you can increase or decrease even the brightness you can increase or decrease all the toggles are working fine vibration you can enable from your torch light all the toggles are working fine in the edit section also there are options as you can see I already kept a majority of the options like mic and camera access and even the screen recording options as you can see this is the options you get system audio and other audio you can record from here this is the origin is for boco x3 my thing i can say is if you want to flash this rom as a daily driver don't do that if you want to test a rom then you can definitely try it out as you can see these are the recent apps and that's it guys if you like the video give it a like and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now